As we look ahead into the next century, leaders will be those who empower others. I believe that if you show people the problems and you show them the solutions they will be moved to act. Technology is just a tool. In terms of getting the kids working together and motivating them, the teacher is the most important. If GM had kept up with technology like the computer industry has, we would all be driving $25 cars that got 1000 mpg. I believe in innovation and that the way you get innovation is you fund research and you learn the basic facts. Everyone needs a coach. It doesn't matter whether you're a basketball player, a tennis player, a gymnast or a bridge player. I really had a lot of dreams when I was a kid, and I think a great deal of that grew out of the fact that I had a chance to read a lot. Until we're educating every kid in a fantastic way until ever inner city is cleaned up, there is no shortage of things to do. I am not a topper in my university but all toppers are working in my Microsoft company. If you think your teacher is tough, wait until you get a boss, he doesn't have tenure. If I'd had some set idea of a finish line, don't you think I would have crossed it years ago? Expectations are a form of first-class truth. If people believe it, it's true. The general idea of the rich helping the poor, I think, is important. We've got to put a lot of money into changing behavior. Who decides what's in windows? The customers who buy it. I do think this next century, hopefully, will be about a more global view. Where you don't just think, yes, my country is doing well, but you think about the world at large. I was lucky to be involved and get to contribute to something that was important, which is empowering people with software. Whether I'm at the office, at home, or on the road, I always have a stack of books I'm looking forward to reading. In business, the idea of measuring what you are doing, picking the measurements that count like customer satisfaction and performance, you thrive on that. There is a certain responsibility that accrued to me when I got to this unexpected position. You see, antiquated ideas of kindness and generosity are simply bugs that must be programmed out of our world. And these cold, unfeeling machines show us the way. The most amazing philanthropists are people who are actually making a significant sacrifice. I have been struck again and again by how important measurement is to improving the human condition. I failed in some subjects in the exam, but my friend passed in all. Now he is an engineer in Microsoft and I am the owner of Microsoft. I never took a day off in my twenties. Not one. And I'm still fanatical, but now I'm a little less fanatical. In the long run, your human capital is your main base of competition. Your leading indicator of where you're going to be 20 years from now is how well you're doing in your education system. Governments will always play a huge part in solving big problems. They set public policy and are uniquely able to provide the resources to make sure solutions reach everyone who needs them. They also fund basic research, which is a crucial component of the innovation that improves life for everyone.